Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me. There's no tea today. It's the end of the day. It is Friday, TGIF everyone, TGIF. I got a lot of questions about the video that I did two videos ago. It was the gaming video having to do with the ultimate guide to online gaming. There was a bunch of questions that I got in and majority of them had to do with the pop or the point of presence. And how do you figure this out? I discussed it before, but I wanna tell you again, because I'm still getting these questions. So once again, I'm gonna make this really short, but I just wanna tell you how you can find this out. Right now, I'm in West Palm Beach. I would think, and probably you would also, the pop that I would be going through is the one in Miami, because it's only 80 miles away. But instead, Starlink has me connected to the pop in Georgia. So let me go ahead and bring up my screen. I wanna show you what this looks like. So if we go over to starlink.sx, bear in mind, this is not a Starlink site. It is not affiliated with them, but we still can gleam a lot of great information from it. We can see down here, this is me, this little green dot down here. Whereas this purple triangle down in Miami, that is one of the pops. Now, I'm currently associated with this pop over here in Georgia. Now, normally that pop would be green. And one of the questions I got was, why are my pops not showing up as green? And this just happens sometimes. And I'm showing you right now, even on my screen, it is not showing up as green, even though it should be. So if we look at this, just so you can see all of them, I think there's like nine altogether. There's one down here in Miami, there's Atlanta. If we come over here, you can see Dallas. Over here we have Virginia or Ashburn. We have New York, Chicago, Denver, so on and so forth throughout the country. And actually there's pops throughout the entire world. Now there is pops and there are ground stations. These little yellow dots are ground stations. So next to me, we can see we have a ground station down here that's really close to Miami. We have another ground station over here, which is in Punta Gorda. And then up here towards the top, we have De Leon Springs that is also in Florida. So we actually have three ground stations that are near me, that are in Florida, okay, which is really good. I usually bounce between Punta Gorda here and Miami ground station. That's just what happens because that's as the satellites come through, the way it works is when I send data out, it goes from my dish up to one of the satellites, then down to the ground station, and then over to the POP. The POP is like a networks operations center, let's just call it, okay? It is like the hub where all of the traffic goes through. So instead of going through Miami, like you would think it would, instead it goes through Atlanta, Georgia. That's fine. Now, how do I know this? Because it's not green. And this is what a lot of you guys have been asking me. So if we go to a website called IPlocation.net, at the top here, it says your IP address is. Now I'm blanking it out right now, but that is my IP address. And if we come down, which is more important, it says IP location. Now that right there says Atlanta, Georgia. So the IP address that you can't see, my IP address is associated with Atlanta, Georgia. So if we go back to starlink.sx, we can see there's a pop in Atlanta, Georgia. So I have an IP address from Atlanta, Georgia, not from Miami. Doesn't make me happy, but that's just simply the way it is. If I was actually going through Miami, instead of having a 35 to 38 ping, I would have about a 19 to 25 ping. So it would be better, my latency would be lower, but it's difficult to change. I've written to them before, they have changed me, but now once you reboot and whatnot, it just latches on to whichever one it feels like and they will not change it anymore. I don't know if they got pissed because I told everyone how to do this and how to write into them and they will change it, but something happened because they just simply don't do it anymore. Anyways, this is really interesting. Look at the screen right now. Now this is the starlink.sx. We can also look at another site called satellitemap.space. Do you see these lines, these big long lines like this one right here? These are lines of satellites that are not yet in use. If we come back to this one, you see all these red dots? Each one of these red dots is a satellite still in procession, still in that pattern where they're following each other. And what will happen is, is once they get up to the right altitude, it will then say in operation and they will scatter out. They will no longer be in these lines. So if we back out a little bit, you see these red dots? Every red dot is a satellite that's currently not working. These little random red dots that we see here, 
those red dots are probably going to start working soon. Do you see how this one says altitude 436 kilometers? This one over here says 435 kilometers. Now watch, when we get to these that are in procession, that are in this line, do you see how it says 361 kilometers? They're still too low. They need to get up to about 500 and some kilometers. Now, if we go to one that's currently working, like here's one that I'm using right now. You see the little green line? That means I'm using it right now. If we look here, it says 548 kilometers. Now let's find another, this is another blue dot over here. That is a functioning satellite, 548. Let's come over to this one, 549, this one, 548. So as you can see, once they get up to about 550 kilometers, that's when they get put into operation. They disperse out to the locations that they need to be, rotating around the planet. And once they get there, they go up to that height. And once they're at that level, then they become operational. Once again, these scattered red dots that we see, like there's one coming over Louisiana right now. Let's zoom into this one. You see how it says 517 kilometers. Now we know the magic number is 550. So as soon as it hits about 540, 550, this satellite is gonna go online. So it's not that far away. But these that are in this pattern like this, they're still down at 358 kilometers. It's gonna be a little while before they are in use. So I just wanted to show you some of this, answer that question on a video instead of doing it in the comments because you guys keep asking me about it. I would rather just show you so you understand what's going on. So if there's any other questions that you have, put them in the comment area below this video. And if I get a lot of similar questions, I'll answer them in a video like I just did. Anyways, don't forget, if you haven't went over to my website as of yet, go check it out. Check out all of my merch, check out some of the products, my photography products and a lot of other stuff that you can find on there. Check it out. Also, I have free books for you to download. Just for getting to the end of this video, go over to jchristina.com forward slash books. Once again, jchristina.com forward slash books. Go pick them up. They are free. That's it, guys. I'm out of here. Forget another vlog. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy. Have a great weekend. We'll see you in the next one.